This is how I made this wooden Santa on the moon. It's inspired by a book called In the House of Wooden Santas. The Santa will be used as an advent calendar, as a little present will appear in his little sack. First I found the image that I wanted to use, then I transferred it to the paper and put him on the moon. Later on I transferred the image onto a piece of lime wood and got going with my scroll saw. This is a very satisfying process and it's really, really enjoyable thing to do. Once I've done that, I've took it to my bench to start carving. First of all, I've given the moon the rough surface and then I moved on at giving Santa a bit more of a 3D effect. And here very shortly, you will see the wood carving in real time as this is currently being filmed on a time lapse. Now you have a rough idea how long it actually takes to make something like this. Once I've finished carving, I have painted the moon in gold colour. After that, I have painted the entire Santa in white. As you can see in this picture already, I have pre-drilled a hole on his glove um, where later on I will be inserting his little sack string to hold the bag. This process didn't take me very long, although it's a little bit tricky to get in all of those nooks and crannies. From there on, I've decided to use a little bit of gold flake. I have decided to dilute some PVC glue and just stick the gold flakes on. It was a little bit harder than I thought it's going to be, but I was quite happy with the result that I've got. It, it has given that moon-like effect where it wasn't perfect and it looked a little bit bumpy. And from there on, I have got on with painting the Santa itself, which is the most satisfying process of all. I use Rust-Oleum paint that is safe for toys, although not that my daughter will be playing with this particular Santa as such, but it's good to know that it is safe nonetheless. On this video, you can see a little star that's sitting on the desk. I already done that in the gold leaf as well. And soon I will be putting a little eyelet at the bottom of the moon and one into the star and attaching that together. I also drilled a, a hole on top of the moon, put a little eyelet on there and hung a little string off of that. Taking my time to do these intricate bits of this carving. And here it is, nearly finished. In a moment, I'm going to give him a pair of eyes. And um, I'm just thinking now, perhaps I should give him glasses too. Please subscribe if you like to see more.